In this video, we will compare the advantage and disadvantage of the embedded region and merge techniques, which are mostly used in finite element simulation of fiber reinforced composites, reinforced concrete, particle reinforced composites, foam filled lattice structures, and similar structures. And also have a glance on the voxel based finite element analysis approach. By the end of the video, you can decide which technique to use in your finite element simulation according to your problem. So watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get new video updates. An embedded region constraint allows you to embed a region of the model within a host region of the model or within the whole model. For instance, you can embed a fiber in a polymer matrix. Or, embed FRP rods in a concrete matrix. Or, embed nano or micro particles in a polymeric or metallic matrix. And there are more examples like these. Let's see how this technique is defined in the Abacus software. For example, we have a woven fabric reinforced epoxy composite. For defining the embedded region constraint you must enter the interaction module. Then select, create constraint icon. At first, you must choose the embedded regions, which is the woven. Then, you must choose the host region, which is the epoxy cube. In the edit constraint window, specify values for the tolerance parameters. These tolerance parameters are useful for making small adjustments to make the embedded nodes lie on the edge or face of a host element. If you specify values for both exterior tolerance parameters, Abacus will use the smaller of the two tolerances. Click the OK button. Now the embedded region constraint is defined. As simple as it looks. Embedded region technique has following advantages. Does not interfere with the mesh generation process. Is good for applying periodic boundary condition does not remove the assigned material orientation. However, it has following limitations. Cannot consider interface properties or modeling interface debonding process. There is a volume redundancy at embedded region locations. Therefore, additional mass and stiffness due to the embedded elements are added to the model. Mechanical properties of embedded part must be modified. Rotational, temperature, acoustic pressure, and electrical potential degrees of freedom at an embedded node are not constrained. For detailed information on embedded region technique and how to compensate the additional stiffness, watch our previous videos on this topic. As an alternative method, you can use merge technique. You can select multiple part instances and merge them into a single part instance. Merge technique create a new part instance and delete or suppress original parts. Let's see how merging is defined in Abacus software. At first, enter the assembly module. Click the Merge or Cut Instances icon. Choose the Merge option based on your problem. Choose whether to suppress the original parts or delete them. Here we choose the Delete option. And also choose whether to retain the intersecting boundaries or not. Here we choose to retain the boundaries. Then, click Continue and select the instances individually in the viewport to merge. And click on the Done button. Merge technique has following advantages. There is no volume redundancy at embedded region location. There is no need to modify the mechanical properties of embedded part. It is possible to model the interface behavior. Merge technique has following limitations. When you merge part instances, composite layups and material orientation of the original part are not mapped to the merged part. You cannot merge part instances that contain virtual topology. Merging parts results in a part instance having mesh quality issues. There is another approach you can use to model such problems. 
you can generate the parts using a voxel-based finite element approach. Voxels are cube-shaped units of volume and can be arranged in a 3D space to form objects of any shape and size. This makes voxel modeling an ideal tool for creating complex and volumetric objects that can be difficult to model with traditional surface-based methods. Using voxel-based finite element modeling. There is no volume redundancy issue or modification of mechanical properties. There is no issue with mesh quality. However, it is impossible to model interface behavior, such as bonding failure. Also, it requires higher number of elements to model the exact geometry of a part. In overall, considering process efficiency, geometry-based modeling performs better for simple or larger parts, while voxel-based modeling is more advantageous for small and complex geometries. As an example, our expert team developed a useful plugin for simulating unidirectional fiber reinforced composite using embedded region, merge or voxel approaches. This plugin is capable of creating an RVE with high volume fraction up to 80% through combining three fiber placement algorithms. Considering the periodicity of the RVE, assigning material orientation to the fibers automatically, creating an RVE using embedded region, merge or voxel based methods, creating an RVE with randomly sized fibers. Let's have a glance at how it works. In the Abacus environment, first open the plugin interface. Enter a fiber volume fraction according to you problem. For this example, we choose voxel-based finite element model. In the dimension, add appropriate matrix size and also fiber diameter. Fiber diameter can be varied between maximum and minimum value. In the mesh tab, enter appropriate mesh size. Click the OK button. The part is made and ready to use. In the property module, you can see there are two material types. Now let's enter the mesh module. Put color code dialog as materials. You can observe a voxel-based simulation of unidirectional fiber reinforced composites. Similarly, you can create an RVE with embedded region or merge approaches. Here, you can observe the final results. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please support our team with like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Don't forget to visit our site for more related products. Have a great time.